Well, good morning. This is Wednesday, uh, October 28th. See, I don't even need to look at the calendar. I've got one right here. And we're just coming up to the market open. So we'll see how we do and uh, we'll watch the premonition charts. We've had a phenomenal record so far this week. In four seconds, we'll hear that infamous bell. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear it. Son of a gun. Okay. Uh, we should be open. Yeah. To 20 seconds late. Away we go. It looks like they're going to open green, which is a surprise because I was looking at the futures and they all looked red. You just never know. That's why you need this program. Um, if you try to make a prediction, lately it seems that you're always wrong. So this program just tells you what's happening at the present time, at the moment. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this turn red, though. I think I think it's just opened at a zero, uh, at a green, but. I looked at those futures and they were pretty strong to the downside. Here we go, we're getting some reds, HAL, and IWM, H-A-L, I-W-M, to the downside. Uh, so let's see how we're doing. HAL, 80, 85 and 87, okay, 84, 85 and 87. That's for the 29s, I-W-M, well, how about this one, $1.19, $1.20. In the price range that I like to see, that's for the 57s. Looks like everything's gone red here, except the overall market. But I don't know what's holding that market up. It's it's got to collapse. I get a lot of uh, inquiries from people saying, "What's the best time to get in?" And you know, I've been trying to simplify this to make it so that people who have a job can come in, watch it for a few minutes, make their orders, put it up for sale at a certain time, and try to make a profit. And Frequently that works, but I think the market is ever-changing and in a situation like that It's hard to predict a best time. I still think the first half hour is sometime in that first half hour is the best time And ideally you want to be uh, waiting for these to say if this is green, which I think is going to change But if this is green and these are red then you're waiting for one of them to turn green and when they do now They're going in the same direction as the market this number here is key if this number is increasing, then it's gaining strength to the color match. So zero right now pretty much tells you that the market has no strength, no direction. Green means it's slightly to the upside, but very small. So you could go either way at this point. But when this number hits three or greater, and you see it increasing, then you know it's picking up strength to whatever direction it's showing. So you want to be going in the same direction. If it's a, a zero or a one, maybe even a two, you could pretty well go either way. Well, looky there, it just turned red. Still zero though, so it's not indicating a strong feeling in either direction, but just as we suspected, it was gonna go down. See how the day progresses. Well, it's 942 right now. HAL is now 92, and when we bought it, it was 87. So I guess we've made a nickel, if uh, a nickel's your target. How about IWM, how's it doing? The day's just begun, though. We had the 57s. It's 115 right now, right there. And we paid 120. So we're winning, made a nickel on one, losing a nickel on the other. So we're we're trading. Oh, we just went up to 160. Huh? So we're we're treading water here. No change on the premonition charts. Right now, what you would do, because this is red, and I think it's going to be a down day. When one of these will turn turns green that doesn't mean to buy it to the upside unless this changes but what it does is it means it's going on sale it's going to get cheaper so you wait for the green to turn red again and then away you go it just turned white so we're, we're evenly balanced here if this number was higher than like three or higher then without a doubt that's the way you go but even if it was seven or eight and you see the number coming down six five wouldn't be a bad idea to reverse the direction and go the other way because it looks like the market is starting to reverse. But right now at zero, the market doesn't have, doesn't have any bias one way or the other. I mean, the market could go up at this point. It's it's right in the middle. Well, there you go. Now we're starting to get some numbers here. We're now red. Caterpillar. Down. Everything's going to be it's going to be a put day. Oh, look at that. We're number three. Didn't I predict that correctly? Let's see how. Uh, how we can get that for 144 and 146 that's for the 55 puts well here it is uh, 
just after 10, 10.01 right now. There we go. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look at how we're doing. 10 o'clock. Uh, Caterpillar, we had the 55s. They're now 166 and uh, 170. We paid 146 for them. Pal, we had the 29 puts, 95 and 98. We paid 87. IWM, we had the 57s, or 130. There it is, 130. And we paid 120, so there's a dime there. Qs, we had the 42s, they're now 91. And we paid 93, so we're losing uh, two cents on that one. Oh, now it's, oh, look at that. Just went up to 98. Well, now we're, instead of losing money, we're making a, making a nickel. As you can see, the uh, directional strength is gaining strength. We're now higher than three. So at a number like this, unless this number starts coming down, but if it stays at four or starts to go higher, you don't want to be buying anything green, any, any calls. So if these turn green, wait for, there, there's one there. Thank you for the demonstration, Halliburton. See, it's green, which means it's going to go on sale, unless this number starts to decrease. So it's, uh, it's getting cheaper right now to buy a put, which is perfect. So let's, uh, let's check the prices. CAT, we had the uh, $55 puts, $10.30. They're now $171 right there. Remember, we paid $146 for them. Pal, we had the 29s. They're now 88. We paid 87, so that's going to be about a break even. IWM, 57s, we paid, well, it's 133, 134 right now. And we paid 120. Okay, 134. Qs for the 42s. They're now 98. And we paid 93. Let's wrap it up for the day. It's uh, 11 o'clock right now. Let's check the prices and see how we're doing. Uh, we had Halliburton, 29s, now 106, as you can see. We'll try to hit the right one there. Well, 107, just gained another penny. 107, we paid uh, 87 for it. I think this is a good time to sell. IWM, we had the 57s, they're now 156. 156. We paid a dollar twenty for it. Qs. We had the forty twos, and eventually we'll see what they're worth. We paid ninety three for them. Oh, they're a dollar thirteen. One thirteen, and we had a Caterpillar. We had the fifty fives. Two ten, and we paid one forty four. So let's see how we're doing. Here's how we would have done at ten o'clock. We would have made. 15.45%. Our 37.40 investment uh, is now 43.1850, so it's a $578 gain. That's a 10, but now it's 11. Let's see how that would have done. The prices we just got uh, 107, 156, 113, and 210. Well, we just made $1,057 or a 28.26 percent return on investment. So you choose. Sell at 10 or sell at 11. So invested 37.40 and we made $1,057. I think that's a pretty decent return and a good day. I hope you've had a good day as well.